tonight on Man and Machine. Frankly, man, the point of the game seemed to be eluding you. The point of the game is to score more runs than the other team, especially when they're women. In no way they were all women. We should, we should give them hormone tests. The point of the game is to enjoy yourself. Is that what you were doing? I was one for five, we lost, and I had my wrist sprained by their six-foot Belarusian shortstop. What do you think? I think you provoked her. I was telling her to keep her spikes down. It's not my fault she can't speak English. It's lucky I was there to pitch swing for you. Pinch it. And I certainly enjoyed getting that... What did you call it? Grand Slam. Your wrist should hurt for several more days. Perhaps the chocolate donut will take your mind off of it. Yeah, hit me. Hey, Bobby. I hear you played some high-tension baseball this morning. Hey, I can act however I want on my day off. I need to talk to you about your days off. Step this way. Thank you for purchasing a delicious and nutritious donut. Bon appetit. Oh! Oh! I'm sorry. Are you all right? I must have burned you. That's all right. I didn't find it all that hot. It's not enough that I'm falling apart. I have to spread the damage around, too. I can't seem to get anything right today. It's like... Do you need help? No. You need a vacation. 
I hate vacations. You work too hard. Yeah, look who's working on Saturday afternoon. Well, we all put in overtime, but I also take off a month every year. Yeah, I always wondered where you went. Sky surfing. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. You haven't really lived till you've jumped from two miles up with three yards of fiberglass strapped to your feet. When was your last vacation, Bobby? I don't know. Last summer, maybe? Try three years ago. <laughs> Sorry. I don't like to make a spectacle of myself unless I'm getting paid for it. Well, thanks. I don't want to take up any more of your day. Well, that's all right. I have time. If you're upset, I'd be happy to listen. Really? You're showing the strain, Bobby. You're irascible, stressed, and uncooperative. You're taking a vacation. Last year, a guy killed my sister. Now he's gonna kill me. Take some time off, Bobby. Rest that broken wing. Go fishing. It's not broken, it's sprained. Besides, there hasn't been any good-sized fish around here in years. There are plenty in the tribal lands. Do I look like I qualify? Iron Tree does. And I hear he's open for fly fishing partners. Talk to him, detective, before I have to send your stress test down to Central. Iron Tree? So then she meets this guy, Philip Curvers. He's a disc weasel. A weasel? I told her she had to get out of it. Eventually she did, but... Then weird things started to happen. What kind of things? Well, he kept sending her these roses. Black roses. It creeped her. What did she do? Well, she got scared. And then she got more scared. I kept telling her she had to go to the police, but she wouldn't go, and just when she was about to go, she disappeared. How long ago was that? A year ago. I know, he killed her. Perhaps she simply left to avoid a stressful situation. Uh -huh. Do you have a sister? No, I don't. You know when something's wrong. Especially when the same thing starts happening to you. I appreciate you coming with me. I know you don't believe in this case. It's not a case yet. A case needs evidence. Well, perhaps we'll find some. The investigating team checked out this guy, Curvis. No priors, no outstandings. He claims to be 600 miles away when the mannequin turns up in your friend's room. So why are you here? As long as I have something on the go, Claghorn can't send me to the trout stream. Sorry for the wait. I managed to clear some time. We appreciate it. We're right in the middle of a huge launch, the Brain Woman disc. Heard it? Uh, I stopped listening when rap hit. <laughs> it's safe to start again. Chanting doesn't count as rap, does it? It's me. Have a seat, please. We'd like to talk to you about Louise Trotsky. So you said. I never thought that one little phone call could bring you guys down my neck. You called her. Obviously, she told you about Sharon. Gorgeous girl. Sweet, trusting, kind of unpredictable. You ever send her roses? Of course. Black ones? No. Why would I do that? What happened when you last saw Sharon? She was on her way to Louise's. She wanted to patch things up between them. Well, what do you think happened to her? I think that perhaps she couldn't choose between me and Louise. And so she ran away. To where? Moscow, Melbourne, Sydney, Saigon, Santa Fe. I don't know. I just hope it was someplace where they could take care of her. Take care of her? 
Well, she's kind of fragile. Unstable, really. She's been under care a couple of times. But Louise has got it much worse. She really has no touch with reality at all. She's been in and out of hospitals almost all her life. Killer look. I look like a killer? No, the outfit is totally Jetson's. Oh, thank you. We need to talk. Well, step into my parlor. Welcome to the soft white underbelly of the business. It's very depressing. So, what's happening? I went to talk to Philip Curvers. What did he say? He said you've undergone treatment for mental disorders. <laughs> well, okay, I guess that clinches it. <laughs> Thanks. I didn't say I believed him. You didn't? He gave us information in a controlled pattern. One topic led to the next. He's very... He's a control freak. Classical behavior analysis shows that an innocent person has no informational agenda. Philip Curvers clearly has one. I told you. He killed her. Eve. Listen. You're the first person I've ever met that I think could help me find the truth. <gasps> oh, I think we're gonna be great friends. Please believe in me. It's a gift. I thought you could use it on your fishing excursion. Tell Captain Claghorn, nice try, but I'm not going on any excursions. Mind you, I may not have an excuse not to. This case is evaporating. Curvers was in Vegas Friday night. He couldn't have put the mannequin in the room. He could have had someone do it for him. That multiplies the entities, and you're always telling me not to do that. Besides, there's this. Louise checked herself into the county for emotional problems a few months ago. It's more specifically a persecution complex. Her file says diagnosis was never confirmed. Eve, listen. If it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it's probably a duck. I failed to see what ducks have to do with it. Come on, come on, come on. I gotta get changed. Shouldn't I wait here? No, I might need advice. This set could take me to the small time. I gotta look my best. Excuse me. Looks like you're ready for that vacation. Hell no. <laughs> Who's got the time? Yeah, it's tough. You're not missing much anyway with the public streams the way they are. Dry as a bone, huh? Yeah. I hear you get access to tribal land. Mm, time to time. Blackhorn says you go a lot. She says you're thinking about going too. That true? Sure, you, you, know, you think about it, but you know how it is with the workload. Absolutely. Speaking of which, I better get started. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry. What a day. Something tire you out? I reviewed nearly two dozen florists on foot. Industry sales records aren't computerized yet. A little old-fashioned digging won't hurt you. You find anything? Nothing. They were in her dressing room. No delivery man description, nothing. So you want to go to lunch? I have some victim follow-up to do. Oh, victim follow-up. You mean you're going to go hang out with your friend? 
procedures require me to maintain contact I, with... I, I didn't say it was wrong. Go on, go, go. Claghorn ask, I'll, uh, I'll tell you at the library. Thank you. I am. The cops aren't going to do anything to stop this guy, are they? Well, this cop is going to try. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I really think this much caffeine could have a negative impact on you. Eve. I love you, but you have got to bust loose. Are you still coming to the show tonight? I'm looking forward to it. Then we are going to dress you. Oh, I am going to find the real you if it takes all day. All right. <laughs> Help. Nice lure. Thanks. You realize using a lure is kind of deceitful. What, you know how to talk them into the net? Well, the native people believe that the prey is not the enemy. It's a participant. It should be celebrated. Fishing is really important to you, isn't it? The Algonquin Nation believe that fishing is a gift of Michibo, the great hare. He lives on the sacred isle of Mashili Mackinac. The souls of good people will live with him forever, feeding on the juicy fruits. I don't mean gum, of course. Of course. Once you're armed with that kind of knowledge, Bobby finding the fish is a sacred trust. You have to catch them. All right, Iron Tree, I can't stand it anymore. Take me fishing with you. I thought you were too busy to go. They owe me time. Oh, give me to the steelhead. I'll do anything. <clears throat> so, you break him down? It was pitiful. E? Here? I'm still getting ready. You're never late. What's going on? Louise says that being late is a statement. Yeah, look, about Louise, I, I need to talk to you about her. I, 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 know, I know she's your friend, and, and that's a big development for you. But you're... Louise says that clothes create an identity. Well, since when are we... 
quoting Chairman Louise. I can be more than what I am around the precinct, man. I like what you are around the precinct. Louise said that it would have a noticeable effect. No doubt about that. <clears throat> well, look, we don't want to be late for the show. We're caught in the trap. I can't walk now. Because I love you too much, baby. So, um, having fun? Yes. This is an entirely new set of experiential events. Uh, wh what I wanted to say was, um, you, you want to dance? I'm afraid I never trained in dance. Although I did do the hokey pokey in nursery school. I, I don't think that's going to quite cut it in this place. Uh, besides, I'm supposed to teach you everything I know, right? All right. Just relax. No, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't look at your feet. Well, where should I look? At your partner. Hey. Uh, not, not, not quite so in, intensive. Uh, just that's it. Just let yourself go. Well, that's what Louise keeps telling me to do. Yeah, if you've uh, enjoyed spending time with her. Yes. You've, uh, you've made a friend. That would be an exciting progression. Yeah. It would, it would. And, and, and it's good. I mean, you should have friends. Every, everyone, everyone needs friends. Your tone indicates that an antithesis is about to follow. Yeah, the other shoe's about to drop. Oh, am I moving incorrectly? No, no, I mean, look, uh, I think, uh, there's something you might not be able to handle, but come on. Had an analysis done on the roses that were sent to her apartment. So? So they weren't really black roses. They were red ones, dyed black. Why? Because black roses are very expensive. Red ones aren't. Well, money is no object to Philip Curvers. Exactly. And, and the dye that was used on them was a common geoxidol based spray sold under the brand name Wild Raven. It's a hairspray sold mainly in theatrical supply stores. You can't examine her belongings. You don't have a warrant. It's illegal. No, it isn't. We aren't investigating her, Eve. I'm just trying to prove something to you. Bingo. This does not constitute proof. You better face it, Eve. Louise sent those roses to herself. Did you send those flowers to yourself? Yeah. I was afraid you were gonna fold on me. Fold what? Curvers is smart. He's... respectable. The cops never find anything. Things happen, they follow up, they crap out, they let it slide. I've been through it all before. So I sent the flowers to myself to keep the case hot, or whatever it is you call it. How many times have you done this? Just once, I swear. I wanted you to stay with me. Help me. I didn't want to go through this all by myself. 
Don't worry, Louise. I won't fold on you. Well, I thought I'd find Louise here. But, uh, you, detective, <laughs> that explains a lot. What are you doing here? I, I came to talk. I wanted to make it someplace public, so... Go away! This is good. You've got a cop here. You can't say that anything happened that... Leave me alone! Please, you're disturbing her. Well, what do you think she's doing to me? All of a sudden, my, 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 my life goes under a microscope. The wildest things get said about me. Now, when they come from a disturbed woman, that's one thing. But when they're coming from the police, it's another. Mr. Curvers, I have been following normal procedures. You called my office and asked people where I had been. You told my secretary that Louise had filed a restraining order against me. That's true. I'm out of here. Louise, wait. We have to talk. This isn't the time. I want to settle this Let thing. me buy! Mr. Oh. Curvers, there's a stalking law in this state. Any person who willfully, maliciously, or repeatedly follows or harasses another person... Louise, ...and who please, makes a credible listen. threat... No! No! Let go of her. Louise, for God's sake! Get out of here. I'll call you. Oh, excuse me. Hey, Andre. Let me finish a couple of reports. We can hit the road. I bet them steel had a line up for us already. What the hell? Handheld sonar? Oh, Nautilus depth indicator? The, the Nalem Scalem fish finder. My fishing guides. What about all that ancestral wisdom, the, the great hair, the, the juicy fruits? Wonderful philosophy. Very spiritual. But that doesn't put fish on the line. Somebody's getting a full tilt boogie in there. Yeah, your partner. I take it Mr. Curvis filed a complaint? You bet your dials he has. Assault, police brutality, denial of civil rights, and anything else his lawyers cook up. Mind if I join you? You don't want a piece of me today. What I do? You're her partner. You might have told her not to punch out civilians in a room full of witnesses. It was only one punch, and only three witnesses. Philip Curvers? I acted on an emotional impulse. A human quality. Acquiring and augmenting such qualities is the prime goal of my assignment in this precinct. She's got you there. The hell she has. She broke three department regs and an undetermined number of criminal laws. You are on ice. I want you back at your apartment until further notice. Is that clear? Yes, Captain. Come on. You can't treat her like a little kid and send her to her room. I can treat her like what she is, a cop who is also a seven-year-old child. Oh. So we, we ask her to be more human, and as soon as she does, you want to pull the plug? Bobby, if I don't pull her in after an incident like this, the whole program could be in jeopardy. She could be out of here for good. Is that what you want? So how do you want me to handle it? I want you to take her home and then come back here and put a sign on your desk. What kind of sign? Gone fishing. Well, I'm a lousy lawyer. What? I lost the appeal. Twelve weeks, four days, nine hours, and 32 minutes into my new job. I'm officially suspended. Hey, I got suspended nine weeks into the gig, if that makes you feel any better. Didn't think it would. I'm not concerned for myself. It's Louise I'm worried about. If something should happen to her now, I can't do a thing. Hey, a good, good morning to you. Your work starts at 8.30. I hope you got that time travel thing licked, because it's 8.35 in the city.
This is Brazen Borzoi, back on the airwaves after that last FCC raid, but that won't shut me up. A little early to be exercising, isn't it? I thought I'd get in some extra training while I wasn't working. Look, I... I know this is a terrible time for me to be leaving town. Oh, no, Captain Claghorn said it's the perfect time. She called last night to explain to me that I needed time alone to consider my actions. I asked her if I could take you fishing, but she nixed it. She believes that you need time alone as well. Well, I... I just wanted to see if... if you were okay. I'm okay. What about Louise? As far as I know. Thanks for your concern. <clears throat> yeah, uh, well, this is, uh... This is the phone number in Iron Tree's car. I'll be at the precinct for about an hour before I leave, if anything should come up. What would come up? Enjoy your vacation, partner. Let's hit the road, cowboy. We don't get up there by tonight. We're out of luck. Tonight? There's no fishing at night. Maybe yes, maybe no. No fishing, no action. Not so. What do you mean? Roseanne LaFarge. She and I had a meaningful relationship in our youth. Then we drifted. She ended up marrying Jimmy Bourne with the tooth. But now she's left him. She runs a bait shop near the river. Won't date anyone who doesn't fish. You've never actually been fishing, have you, Iron Tree? Fishing in the larger, mythical sense. Don't worry. She has a sister. Got that sign finished, Bobby? So, what's the sister like? Great personality. Louise, you're playing right into his plan. You're running away. That's a logical move, wouldn't you say? Let me talk to the captain just one more time. Maybe we can come up with something. I'm sorry, Eve. I've already come up with something. Oh, Eve. Give me a police escort to the state line. That's all I'm asking. I'm on suspension, Louise. Technically, I have no right to protect you. That means no? That means I'll do my best. Are a friend. <laughs> Let me tell you something. This is going to be the most productive 14 hours you have ever spent. Well, how's that? I'm going to teach you how to sing. <laughs> while I go to the powder room. You got any money? Hey, uh, 
You're on suspension. You get caught packing that thing, you're in even deeper. I'm a girl in a hurry. She's got some popcorn, some magazines. It's a lost art reading. I always try to catch up while I'm on vacation. The New Yorker, The Atlantic, The National Review. I'll be in the John. I might need a couple minutes. Those refries went down the wrong trail. You know something, Iron Tree? You are one... Complicated guy! I know. That's what Roseanne Lafarge likes about me. Where'd she go? Curver's house. Damn. She's got my gun. Stop and have a look. I want the two of you to leave here. Now! Let's go. I can't 
leave her. Well, in the car. I've got an idea. I want him. That's the idea. Thank for this detective. Louise. She would never have been able to pass the health test to get one of her own. like that. I learned that from Louise. You know, man, it was a wonderful experience meeting her. My first friend. Well, I'd say she was your second. Oh, no, not at all. She was definitely... Thank you. Of course, you do know that friends sing while they drive. I, I, I don't sing. I know my boyfriend's back. I especially don't sing that. My boyfriend's back, and there's gonna be trouble. You're supposed to sing, hey, la, hey, la, my boyfriend's back. I'm not gonna sing that. If you were really my friend, man, you'd sing. If you were really my friend, you wouldn't ask me to sing. So forget it. He's been gone for such a long time. Hey, La, hey, La, my boyfriend's back. Well, he's kind of big and he's awful strong. Hey, La, hey, La, my boyfriend's back. 
Showtime. I'm Gretchen Carr. Wake up to what's happening in Cleveland tomorrow morning at 6 on Channel 3 News Morning Edition. Join me for the latest news along with sports reports from Nick Cellini and the weather forecast.